the wages of sin. Why is a ghost trying to take away a little boy? Don't miss out. The psychics will reveal the shocking truth about a child's murder. You are watching Psychic Investigations. Only true and shocking resonant criminal cases and unbelievable paranormal phenomena are gathered here. And people who call themselves psychics solve them. The Ukrainian family of the Kucherenkos asked the psychics for help. The young parents of two go to bed and wake up, fearing their elder son Ilya could die. Bad injuries and bone fractures, electric shock, and even road accidents are only a part of what the six-year-old boy has been through recently. There's a real threat to our son. It's a matter of life and death. The parents are sure that the misfortunes that keep happening to Ilya are not accidents. 17 years ago, Yuri was warned he could lose his son. I bought a motorcycle and when I was riding it, its brakes failed and I crashed into a tractor. The man suffered a horrible head injury and slipped into a coma for nine days. He says he recalls the moment of the collision and then he felt like falling into a black tunnel from which he merged into a strange place. I saw a large golden gate and there was a man holding a book next to it. No, it's too early for you to be here. You haven't fulfilled your mission yet, he said. And then Yuri felt a shove and found himself in the black tunnel again. Behind him, he heard the voice of the man with the book who told him to save his son from death. The next moment, Yuri opened his eyes to see he was in the hospital. Back then, Yuri didn't suspect he would indeed have a son. But since Ilya was born, his young parents have never left him alone for a second. I literally watch over him all the time. But the incidents happen in front of the parents so fast that they simply have no time to react. Besides, the boy's mother once had a dream in which she murdered her elder son. Suddenly, Something like a dog collar appeared in my hands out of nowhere. And I put collar on my son's neck, and it started tightening his neck more and more. And he chalked in my dream. The terrified woman woke up in a cold sweat and heard her son scream. He was screaming, trying to breathe in, but he couldn't do it. The boy had a peculiar choke attack. His parents called an ambulance. The doctors said Ilya had stenosis. It's an abnormal narrowing of the larynx that can result in asphyxia. However, the medics failed to find the reason for the attack in the sleeping boy. But the last straw that urged the parents to ask us for help was the bizarre visions Ilya started seeing at home. He said, Mom, I saw a ghost. It was all white and scary. I want the psychics to help us sort it out. The most powerful experts of our project, Olena Kurilova and Kayal Alekperov, take up the investigation. I had a dream last night. In it, I saw a boy of about 12. His arms here covered in cuts. He'd been murdered. He told me, I tried to stop her, but it was too late. I'm having a vision of a woman standing next to a fire. A fire? Yes, and she's naked. It looks like some kind of ritual. I hear her shout out in front of the fire. Give me power. I'll destroy each one of those boys. Who could she mean? Anastasia and Yuri's sons? I don't know. A ball. There's an awful story related to a ball. And we must find the answer. Hello? Hello? We fear for our son. The cards are telling me there's a spirit bound to you and your family. And a woman bound it. One of you knows her personally but I failed to understand who she is. 
where to find her, and how the parents could save their son. Yuri, you mentioned the words of your mission you heard while you were in a coma. Yes, you haven't fulfilled your mission yet. My book says that your mission is connected to a murder. Were you in a coma too? Yes. When I was four, a police car hit me and I spent nine days in a coma. Mom was at work, dad was fixing the bike in the backyard, and I sneaked out of the house and ran across the road to see my friends. This was when I was hit by the car. I had a cranios, rebral injury, and a broken leg. I don't know how my parents took it all. A falling tower, a happy family, Wealth, it was all gone. Yes. Your healing required a lot of money. I needed money for the meds, which we naturally didn't have, and so my parents had to borrow. The debts were sky high, and to repay them, Anastasia's parents had to work day and night, exhausting themselves. A series of events that destroyed the family. No sooner had I returned from the hospital than a misfortune happened to mom. I feel that your mother lost her arm. Yes, yes. She worked at a canning factory. A machine tore off her arm, and she ended up disabled. Because of her injury, your mother couldn't earn money. Your father was the only provider. Yes, yes. But he was gone a few years later. Yes. Did he choke? Yes. He suffered from seizures. I was 12 when Dad died. The man had been epileptic since he was a little boy but the attacks were rare, as he cared for his health and did everything to prevent them. But the powerful stress provoked them again. Her father's death remains Anastasia's sore point to date. I was his favorite daughter. It's very hard. I see a young man next to you. You and him are related. He must be your brother. Yes. His support helped you live through the nightmare your family had to deal with. Of course. He gave me the sense of consolation as the brother. And then I felt somebody's touch. I see a man. He's fair-haired, blonde, and his eyes are gray and blue. He says, Nastona. Nastona. Dad used to call me so. It could only be him. What was your father's name? Serhi. He can't go to heaven. His soul is restless. What's the reason for that? To find it out, the psychics decided to carry out a ritual to let the father's spirit talk to his daughter. Anastasia, if you want to speak to your father, you only have a few minutes. I love him a lot, and I have always loved him. I miss him so much. Please be a guardian angel for me and my children, for all my family. He's, he's saying something. It's like an echo. He says, my... My son, the cross. What is he trying to tell me? What cross could it mean? What does Anastasia's brother have to do with it? And who was the woman that bound the spirit to the family? And why did she do it? Is it possible that it happened because of me? Do you mean the spirit that haunting your family? Yes. What makes you think so? My brother and I took a cross from a grave as kids. Why did you do it? We wanted to sell it for scrap. Anastasia says it happened after her father's death. We were broke and had nothing to eat. We needed money. To make ends meet, Anastasia and her brother collected glassware, waste paper, and scrap metal. We searched metal and went to the old cemetery. There, we took a cross from one of the graves to take it to a recycling center and make some money. How old was your brother then? Sixteen. Even though her brother is a year older than her, Anastasia says she's always treated him like a younger brother because since he was a child, Andre has been very self-conscious. He didn't speak to people and didn't study well at school. He couldn't study. He has this mental block that makes it hard for him to think. 
He was bullied a lot at school because of it. It started since the very beginning. Anastasia recalls that her brother tried everything he could to make money for the family, and thus he decided to go to the old cemetery to find scrap metal there. The spirit from the grave you disturbed could have started haunting you to avenge. Do you remember where the cemetery is? This is our old cemetery. Olena, this is the grave. Yes, yes. It's unbelievable. The vase that was on the next grave falls directly in front of our ease. There was nobody around. Nobody touched the vase. How did it even happen? I can't wrap my head around it. Here. A dark woman. She's skinny. You took her cross. Please forgive me and my brother and don't hurt my children. I sincerely regret doing it. She says, I'm not mad. They needed money. It turned out the woman from whose grave the cross was taken wasn't haunting Anastasia's family. I see a picture. A woman kneeling in front of a grave. She's alive and she weeps bitterly, saying, I'll make them pay for what they did to you. I see a vision from the past. There are you, Yuri, and two more boys, and a woman shouts to you, you're all going to pay for it. You'll know no rest. Who was she? The card of the witch. You infuriated a witch. What did you do to her son? The ball hit his head and... When Yuri was 16, he and his friends, other teenagers, were playing football not far from his neighbor's house. And the boys hit her 11-year-old son with the ball on his head. He started crying, but we boys only laughed at that. But it wasn't all. Yuri says that the man hit the third grader's nose. It started bleeding, and the boy cried and ran home. I saw the boy come home, holding to his head and screaming with pain. And then he fainted in front of his mother. I recalled my vision of the woman who promised revenge, kneeling in front of the grave. So I thought it could be Yuri's neighbor, and her son died after the ball hit him. What happened to the boy you hit with the ball? It was long ago, and to be honest, I didn't pay much attention. Later, the woman left the village. The only thing Yuri remembers is that after the incident, the furious mother of the boy encountered him and his friends. The next day on our way to school, we encountered her. And then it started. She began threatening to do something that we would never forget. Do you know that woman's name? Halina. What exactly did she say? Burn in hell. Be damned. The woman practiced magic. She knew how to do things. Yes. It turned out that the locals said Halina was really a witch, since after any conflicts with her, different misfortunes happened to people. Everyone feared her a lot. But does little Ilya find himself in danger because of the woman who cursed his father many years ago? I see the woman say she wishes you to experience what her son has suffered, and it really happened soon afterward. You injured your head and slipped into a coma, and then your two friends died from head injuries. Yes. She cursed the three of us. Two are already dead. But your parents prayed to spare you, especially your mother. Yes, she did. I was saved at the last moment. Is it possible the neighbor bound a spirit to the three friends, and because Yuri survived, the spirit shifted its focus to his son? Wait. I feel that the night before, the woman cursed you. She carried out a ritual with fire. We saw her. The backyard of her house overlooked the sports complex. 
And so we were exercising at the sports complex and saw her dance around a fire naked. We were just kids, so we simply laughed, thinking she was a cuckoo. No, she wasn't a cuckoo. My goodness. Here's what I saw. A naked woman in front of a fire, shouting out, Give me power, and I'll destroy every one of these boys. Can you show me the place where Helena carried out the ritual? Yes. It was her house behind this fence over there. I was in that sports complex and saw it all from behind the fence. That... Olena, the woman didn't summon spirits during the ritual. The ritual was aimed at strengthening her energy. But there was the curse, and the curse has fulfilled its purpose. It only targeted the three of you. It contained not a single word about your families. We were wrong. Another woman bound the spirit to the family. Who did it? Wait. Olena, it's him again. The spirit of the boy with cuts on his arms. He says that he has no choice but to haunt your family. I have no idea who it is. But the boy claims you know him well. He's pointing at the bruises on his throat. They're shaped like fingers. He was strangled. In our village, where our country house was, our neighbor's son was killed. He was strangled. Who did it? My brother. Your brother? Yes, Andre. He was thrown in jail. He did his time. But why did he kill the boy? I asked him many times, but he couldn't explain. Anastasia says that the terrible murder happened when her brother moved in their parents' country house. Andre was 20 by then. Being a sociopath, he couldn't find a job in the town, so he went to work at the local forestry and helped his neighbors every now and then. This was how he made a living. Plus, I helped him. The murdered boy's family lived next door to Andre. His mother always pitied the young man who lived alone. She often invited him to their house and cooked lunch for him. Anastasia's brother became friends with the woman's 11-year-old son, whose name was also Andre. Your brother looks to be like an 11-year-old kid himself. He's so immature. Yes. According to Anastasia, this is precisely why her brother became so close with the boy. Nobody could think such a tragedy could happen. Little Andre's mother was at work. They went to watch TV at the boys' home, and it happened there. I don't know what caused it, but he strangled the boy. The cards say there was a conflict. The little Andre started mocking and saying something offensive. The boy called Anastasia's brother a retard. This drove the 20-year-old man mad. This is what kids at school used to call him. Anastasia's brother didn't understand what he did. And when he came to, he got scared and even tried to cover up the traces. When the boy's mother found her son's body, his arms were cut, and she thought he'd committed suicide. However, the forensic investigation revealed he had been strangled. The dead boy's spirit is haunting your home, and your son finds himself in dangerous situations because of him. The boy's spirit repeats the words he told me in my dream. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. There was a curse from his mother. She shouted out, as long as you live, you won't forget my son's death. May he stay with you every day. And she told you this personally. I met her once in the street. It was a great shock. The death of little Andre was a devastating blow to his mother. The woman, who used to be so cheerful and good-natured, retreated into herself and started drinking heavily. The grieving mother's words became a curse, and it bound the boy's spirit to your family. How do we deal with little Andre's spirit? What do we do? The problem wasn't only the mother's curse, 
but also the sin of the murder. The sin concerns the entire family and you can't rid yourself of it. It takes years to repent the guilt. Because of the awful thing your brother did, there's a cross laying over your entire family. This is what your late father's spirit told us about. Yuri, you must help your wife, children, and the upcoming generations repent of the sin of the murder. This is the mission the Supreme Forces told you about. And to make sure the dead boy stops haunting your family, we will try to release his spirit to the other world and lift his mother's awful curse. Andre, I am so sorry that my brother took your life. I beg you, please don't touch my family. Leave us alone, please. The boy's spirit is now free. The rest depends on you. Don't forget your mission. Yes, yes, I understand. Thank you so much. If you're impressed by the story, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Many more incredible investigations by the psychics are coming up.